Well, state lawmakers have one more week to approve a budget on time, and California's former foster children will be watching negotiations very closely because their health coverage is at stake here. ABC 7 News Capital correspondent Annette Miranda has the story now on the fight over $3 million. The state's foster children are eligible until the age of 21 for coverage under Medi-Cal, a health care program for low-income Californians. They lose the insurance after that. I really don't have a safety net. That's what happened to 23-year-old Crystal O'Grady, the Stanford grad who has a painful chronic illness, is uninsured while waiting to attend law school. I either live with it and kind of try and tough it out and take whatever Tylenol you can and maybe spend a day in bed or something like that like that or front the cost of going to an emergency room. In 2014, former foster youth will be required under the Federal Affordable Care Act to be covered under Medi-Cal until the age of 26. Until then, advocates are hoping to begin coverage now at the cost of $3 million through the end of the year for 6,000 who've aged out of the system. They've been trying to get the legislature to pay for the extra years because other adult children have been able to get coverage under their parents' private insurance until the age of 26. So in order to be equitable because the state is the parent of these children, we really need them to have parity and be able to stay on our health insurance up until age 26. But Governor Brown has been reluctant to increase spending despite extra revenues this year. He says the state budget is balanced only because government programs have been dramatically scaled back. Plus, he anticipates a slowdown in the economy. And one of the things we don't want to do is return to the days where the, the budget has levels of spending that, that can't be supported. Democratic lawmakers have been at odds with the governor over state spending. Their budget proposal allocates an extra $3 million to Medi-Cal for former foster youth coverage. Crystal O'Grady is crossing her fingers and ready to see a doctor. It's investing in the future and we'll save money along the line. An alternate, less expensive plan is to cover just the former foster youth who turned 21 this year. That'll cost just $600,000. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC 7 News.